The wild childs have arrived. Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the full reveal of the brand new wild childs dolls. Now, if you've been following along, I've already made two videos on this, the on the dolls, on the prototypes, on the whole basically the process of how it started and now how it's going so we had recently gotten these pictures shared on instagram by the official you know wild child's account um back in the beginning of october and i never made this video until now because i was kind of hoping that we were going to get the fifth character uh we were going to get to see the boy character as well but he never ended up showing so i don't think they actually made him yet but we'll talk about that later on for now let's talk about the four dolls that we have seen revealed so far and if they're gonna get made next year so stay tuned and let's get into now, it to be clear these dolls are only really the final prototypes of the characters four of the characters so far again they're supposed to be five but this really all depends uh from our response as their fans to see how many people are actually willing to you know buy these dolls and so they put up a poll on instagram this was a long long time ago i'm not even sure if it's still live but um basically to to show walmart uh for this open call meeting that they had back in october um the support that they have behind this brand and that they would have you know it would make money basically so just make sure if you want to support wild childs you know follow them on instagram all the socials um they even have like face masks if you want to get one <laughs> so but like essentially because these aren't like green lit these are just like the final production versions the final prototypes of these dolls they are not going to be mass produced as we know right now like they might be and that's what we're hoping for but again if they if you want to see them get mass produced and like actually get sold then again we need to show them our support as a community and show them that we really would buy these dolls and you know eat them up because they the yeah, as we'll see they look amazing and so let's start off with Taja. it's funny before taja got revealed first people even thought that wild childs was canceled so i'm really happy that you know they ended up being you know they ended up showing that uh they were still working on the project and they were not canceled they were not going anywhere so yeah taja here was the first one to get revealed she is based on um, the malayan tigress that's her species and her natural habitat ha habitat <laughs> <laughs> wild malaysia so yeah i'm really it's really fun how they each have like their own origin and species that they're based on or inspired by um and speaking of there's a whole bio and information and so much lore on the official wild child's website so if you want to check out more of these characters um i'll include some of it here but you should definitely check out their website it really just it's wildchilds.com like it's really that simple so um it really is just so fun it really reminds me of monster high and how in depth the diaries went with all the character descriptions and like the the just the fleshing out of all the characters and like the like the, even the smallest details like their pets like what they like to do their favorite foods like this is definitely giving me that kind of like monster high vibe with all the details and lore that they've already built up but anyways speaking of the actual doll here um she's amazing taja is stunning and i'm honestly i don't want to harp on and repeat myself too many times here because the the face design the paint job the craftsmanship is breathtaking like this is beyond anything we've seen so far and again yeah these are not the final mass-produced versions of these dolls that we'll hopefully get to see one day these are really just the final prototype versions of these dolls so of course they would have the highest level of quality and details here but even then we still have to applaud the craftsmanship and the actual work and ingenuity that went into creating these dolls from the body type the articulation which we'll see later on actually you know how they bend um the face screening the clothing the stitching just the hair everything down to the smallest detail we should they should be they should be applauded because really this is something to celebrate that something like this has reached this type of um fleshed out version of a doll like this is just insane like it looks amazing and for something like this like a brand like this to perhaps hopefully again uh, really fingers crossed here they will land on shelves one day and you will be able to buy your very own wild child's doll of taja or ping or whatever like hopefully you know like that's insane like the mere fact the mere idea like you i could own one of like a doll like this one day 
that's amazing to me so just because again I just if we have if you have eyes you can see yourself the level of detail and quality is just beyond imagination like it really just is stunning it is spectacular i really cannot praise them enough and again i hope one day we'll we will be able to own our very own you know wild child dolls so i really again support them because we need this to happen um so taja is fully decked out with this multi-layered outfit the shirt the details the silver necklace the silver earrings the paint job on the whole body is like next level um the face up those lips giving brats vibes of course of course the rooted lashes the the detailed hair the the nails painted on the denim jeans you know like the pants with the like little um the straps going across the bottom i mean come on this is just it's too much like it's too good it's too good it's, it's too good this is like it's just it's too powerful these dolls are too powerful in their design they're too creative like it really it's almost like we can't have them for ourselves because they're just they're that good um they're just they're, we're not worthy of them you know what I, you know what i mean like they're just they're next level unattain unattainable like i i don't if i had her i would feel like i don't i'm not worthy of having you you know like it's just there she's so gorgeous like the shoes the details like, again i could go on and on but it's just like that the fur jacket the beanie the skirt being re removable and then yeah and underneath obviously her pants so i just again i love Taja so much um, and she really set the the feeling for what will be the rest of the line that will get revealed you know later on so next we have Ping and actually there's like two versions of her name Peng and Ping like on a website it says Peng but then on the caption it reads Ping so I think her name is Ping but it's funny how you know they have like two different versions or maybe it's like a typo I don't know uh, but here's Ping she's my favorite she um, is based on the giant panda whose natural habitat Tat is in wild central China um, and of course they like bamboo so we'll see the bamboo theme a lot ongoing here on her design um, and she is again stunning I, I want to reuse the same words I just use with Tasha she is stunning breathtakingly spectacular amazingly gorgeous and beautiful <laughs> but she's my favorite because she is a panda duh but she's also like she has the bangs the outfit is on point i love the little leg, leg warmers the, the bamboo heels to me are superior like they're just uh, something else um and then i just love the hair and i just you know the pink it matches her perfectly um and she had i think she had shorter hair on the artwork but um I think the longer hair here really works. Um, you know, actually, no, it's, a, it's the same length, I believe, from the artwork, if you really compare it. Um, but it really looks amazing. Like, I think the outfit changed a little bit, but I, I think it changed for the better. Like, the little tight skirt underneath, and then we have, like, the the fluffy shirt over it. And then we have the leg warmers again. The shoes seem to be removable, like, the same way the Bratz shoes are, like a peg kind of situation. Um, but they're still so detailed and like the toes being painted on and you'll notice like the the toes the number of toes on some of these dolls change because obviously depending on the actual you know animal they're based on uh the ac that actual animal would also have only like a certain number of of toes or like hoof or you know like the feet um so it's really genius how they really like just thought of every small detail like it really just is next level the ears they're all correct the bangs the little hair accessories like the accessories uh, the tie with the little details um the pink nails like the tassels the bamboo earring like girl i could go on and on but like she is just yeah she's she, i really want her like if i could only have one i would want her because she's just she is my dream like she is a vision to behold next to be revealed is chazelle the asiatic cheetah and she's actually one of two cheetahs in the main lineup here the other one of course being chase her boyfriend we'll take a look at him later on um but chazelle here looks stunning in her persian inspired um outfit the top and these pants and the overskirt definitely remind me of princess jasmine's outfit it really just looks amazing especially with the teal color matching the purple i think that's a really good match for her color palette um i love the 
teal uh, of the overskirt and it reminds me also heavily of Cleo's like original core one look like the teal that she has on like that piece of clothing it reminds me a lot of the flowiness here any texture of, of Chazelle's outfit here just really also that vibe uh, I mean obviously Chazelle gives me Cleo vibes of course with also Cleo having been released in a two-pack with Deuce and now Chazelle also having a boyfriend called Chase it's just it's kind of like you can see the inspiration here they both seem to be like the the mean girl but it just really it just looks she looks amazing i love the gold accents with the details the accessories the crown the headpiece right the face up is stunning the orange lipstick actually works really well the um the face paint on her face but also on her body like the little details like the spots it's just so good the hair looks amazing i love the different shades of like auburn but also like orange brown mixed in there it really just works perfectly it's so bright it's so colorful but like realistically so and then obviously she has the um, yeah like again she has the two different pieces like the overskirt and then uh, which is split and then you know when you take that off she just has pants underneath which are super baggy like like i love the print the the shoes are mo obviously molded on and here like i mentioned before she has only um three toes or i guess technically speaking paws like the 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 <laughs> i don't know the, the beans <laughs> i don't know i don't know the correct anatomy here but the, the the term but you can see that she only has um three toes so i'm gonna call it, yeah because she's a humanoid character um but yeah, so that's really fun how they really specified the, the you know they really put the unique details of like the toes like the numbers and like the ears it's all unique to every character i love that detail um and yeah she just looks really royal overall she's definitely like um one of my favorites and lastly sure. we have azari and she's based on the african burchelle's zebra and the stripes alone like i'm not sure if someone actually hand painted those stripes because they look so well done but if someone did do those by hand like i commend you like that takes so much time and it was probably very tedious to get them so you know neat and perfect so um but again i'm not sure maybe machine did it but um it, the stripes nonetheless look very well designed on her face and i imagine they go all throughout her body um so just that alone that that is just applause like that is craftsmanship right there that is amazingly done and the face looks amazing i love the makeup the hair is very simple but honestly like i like it i think it really highlights it lets the stripes and her face you know take the main stage and the outfit i because i do think like because she has stripes on and obviously her outfit has patterns um it, i feel like the hair that's why it's not really like loud it's just like white hair which matches the white you know with the stripes um, and then I think she does have some black strands in the back mixed in, which is really fun. I like the <clears throat> I like the side swept action on the you know like the the the, the top. It looks really fun. Um, the little gold headband. The ears are so cute. I love the gold accessories. The um, the top. I love how it's constructed, like the top, the flowy sleeves, and then we have like the skirt piece that's detachable from the actual um, pants or like tights underneath i think those are like pants because they look really sturdy um but i actually love the way um that's the same print with the skirt and the pants and a skirt really just adds a little flair with the belt buckle as well and the shoes i think her shoes are the most detailed just because they literally have like a it's like a little um diorama um of like a zebra and a tree like that's the heel that's the back of the heel like that's so much detail like again that's why like this the these dolls really remind me of like a hodgepodge of brats and monster high because the shoe details so monster high the world building so monster high and then of course the actual brats peg joint you know is brat uh, the that, that's brats obviously and then the actual shoe size the foot the foot size is also brats inspired and then the lips and the lashes and the style overall is also very brats inspired so to me it's like a very mixture of the both um, you know, Monster High and Bratz that really brought these to life. It's just, it really, they, they really look amazing. And I think um, she's also one of, my, one of my favorites, but I do think it's hard to choose because there's just 
I mean, out of these four alone, like, it's like, how can you choose? Like, Ping, obviously, but like, Zari, she is so fun. And like I mentioned earlier, we do also have a fifth member, part of the main first lineup here, who is the boy character. His name is Chase, and he is also a cheetah. He specifically is based on the king cheetah, and he's obviously um, a pay in, a, in a couple with Chiselle, which is just so iconic. They're both cheetahs, but different types of cheetahs. Like, it's just, it really is just such a fun um, detail and just like character wise, lore wise. It, it's just so good. Like, it really, it's gold. Like, these, the, everything. This is all just so well done. Um, and then obviously, we don't have a doll for him yet. Again, that's why I didn't make this video sooner. Um, I imagine because, I mean, it's already hard enough to make four full on dolls like the ones we just saw so making a whole new body mold for a boy doll i imagine you know was maybe like if they had extra time and resources they would have done it but i imagine that they first want to really um you know get the support of you know walmart and you know different retailers that they will buy these dolls and you know sell them in stores one you know hopefully one day so maybe chase will you know join the rest of the gang down the line um i think so because he seems to be part of the main lineup and obviously he is together with chiselle so i mean you know he has to get made now <laughs> but uh, yeah design wise he looks really amazing as well the the spots the hair the outfit is pretty simple but still i'm pretty sure it's very inspired by uh, uh, traditional garments and um clothing i you know i'm pretty sure because all of this stuff is very inspired by you know traditional garments and also just uh, other you know styles from different countries like it really just they really pull from different sources to create this unique characters so i think that's something else that really makes these um characters really stand out and really unique looking um <coughs> girl and then the um the sneakers again the huge feet it's just it's all perfect and he has a tail i imagine chiselle has a tail too um and uh perhaps taja as well i couldn't see any tails in the photos but maybe they do have them or maybe they will add them later on but um yeah chase looks amazing and definitely he has to get his own doll as well wild child's <laughs> understory even shared a first look at what their articulation will be and you know like how they actually feel and hand um it just really gives us a better sense of scale um you know in hand like how they would actually you know size up and just the the, the, the articulation seems to be very um very uh very good like very solid uh but i'm not sure how solid how sturdy the actual hands and arms will be because they do look very you know skinny um but i i do imagine that they are working obviously to make the to give us the best possible articulation and obviously they don't have stands they have because they have the huge feet they just stand by themselves which is very iconic and it proportions everything it just really works really well here with the whole character design it's fascinating to see how far they've come from the first look at the you know wild child's a doll you know like the articulation uh the actual molding for the you know the head and everything um and now with the final you know version of the doll with the video here it really is amazing like the journey that we've that they've all been on and all of the people who've worked on these dolls like again applause um amazing job like really you can really see the the effort and care and love that went into creating these designs and also you have this packaging mock-up um which gives us a better idea of what the packaging will or could eventually look like um looks pretty good and um yeah i think overall this is it's basically it just what can we do support wild chows and then hopefully one day um <laughs> you know they will get released worldwide i mean i hope that they'll get released anywhere and then i'll i mean i'll get them i'll buy them i'll make the effort i'll, I'll buy them wherever i have to get them from um but uh yeah hopefully they just get made like at all because i think these they have to get made and obviously there's also other characters that they've teased um like a fox character, uh, a monkey character, even a snake character I've seen somewhere. So, so many other characters that hopefully they'll get, you know, introduced obviously down the line. So this 
this brand has so much potential and it really we need to show we need we need to show these retailers that girl we will buy them let's make it happen okay <laughs> so i can't wait to get these if they whenever they come out um because you know you know what we gotta we gotta manifest this we gotta manifest their existence their production um that they're gonna get made we're manifesting it right now it's gonna happen um sometime next year it'll happen it'll happen for sure and then we'll get to have our very own wild child dolls i just know it, it this is the next monster high it, it, it is this is the next step in the fashion doll aisle market it just this is what we need this is what we want okay and that was the video so much to go through but please let me know down below which of these dolls is your personal favorite and which animal in the future would you love for them to tackle design wise and get introduced as well into doll form uh but yeah what do you think of this brand overall of uh, what are your hopes to see from this brand if uh and again no no, no we're manifesting it'll get made it will get made it's happening it's happening we're manifesting it it's happening <laughs> we're realizing it um what are your hopes for this brand um in the future but yeah let me know down below i hope you all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and become a member today so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming at your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the loyalty you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses